All right, so right now I'm sitting down with Daisy, who is one of our wonderful international students from Brazil. And as we are celebrating International Women's Day and March is International Women's Month as well, um, it's exciting to have you here, Daisy. She works in our Office of International Education. Would you like to say hi to everybody out there that's listening? Hi, everyone. My name is Daisy. I'm from Brazil. Thank you for the invitation, Drew. I'm so happy to be here to share about the International Women's Day. In Brazil, we have International Women's Day. It's a huge celebration. We women feel so much appreciated in Brazil. We exchange gift cards, flowers. We get so many compliments. It's a really, really big day in Brazil. And I know it's important to be celebrate and appreciate every single day but it's important to have this day for show how the women are powerful in the days today and i feel like that in south america and i think here in america also and we have like it's a huge huge parties in brazil about women's day and it's super nice we really feel appreciate oh that's great and uh it's glad i'm, I'm glad to hear that the women are appreciated down in Brazil, and uh, and I hope all of us up here can appreciate all all the uh, great things that women do, and uh, and all the powerful women that are out there. Um, and so we definitely want to celebrate this internationally. Um, wanted to ask you, uh, what brought you here to the United States from Brazil? Well, I am my I. Oh, can you start again? Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I am a nurse, and I used to work as a nurse in Brazil for five years, and I came to the United States for the vacation, and I fell in love, <laughs> I can't say that, for the country, for the people, for the culture, and also I started to work with a job that actually is in Brazil about immigration, and I really fell in love about that, and I started to work as international people, international students, uh, not just students, but people in general, and I realized this country is a country that welcome people from everywhere, have so many opportunities, making us feel really include the american people are really nice they welcome everyone really really well and i decided to spend more time here learn more about the culture and also have a second career i now i am nurse but also i am in the law field and i start my paralegal certificate paralegal program and i hope in the future i can work as a nurse and also as a paralegal wow and um how are you feeling i mean we didn't talk about this beforehand, but with this whole coronavirus thing going on and even being a nurse or, or wanting to become a nurse, do you have any thoughts about how you would want to help people? Or is this is this a point in time right now where you're thinking about that more? Actually, I feel comfortable about the situation because uh, 10 years ago, we helped the, si the situation in Brazil about H1N1 virus. It's a kind of flu that happened 10 years ago. It was a huge situation in Brazil. Unfortunately, many people lost their lives. And I was working back at the time in the hospital. And we deal with that. It was really, really complicated in the beginning. I can feel the same situation here in the United States. But I think the people should like follow their lives, just like be more careful. An important thing I say for everyone as a nurse, wash your hands, and but keep your life going because it, the, soon, of course, it, the magical field gonna find something and everyone is gonna be fine. Yeah, it, it, they they were talking about the coronavirus being even like a partly of that stream of the H one N one and um, yeah, wash your hands and. You know, just stay healthy. Stay home if you're sick as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're keeping a close watch on that in our international office as well with all of our study abroad programs being canceled this summer, unfortunately. Um, it's it's affecting the lives of a lot of people right now. So um, thoughts and prayers out to everyone who's being affected by that. And um, hopefully uh, we will, uh, you know, get through this uh, here quickly. Um, you know, I was just talking to someone else who just returned from Brazil. Um, one of our other coworkers, did you hear about that? And she went to, um, is it called the, Sur uh, what is the big festival down in, in Brazil? Can you, can you sh share about the carnival that she went to or, or uh, have you been to that before? And uh, can you share a little bit about that? What is? 
Yes, Carnival in Brazil is a huge party when you have in February or March every year. When like for seven days, kind of seven days, the people just party and be super happy. We use like costumes, all kind of costumes you want for people like adults, old kids. Everyone share is amazing experience. Is that in the summertime? Everyone came and go to like many cities for see the presentations and like a huge party came people from everywhere, everywhere in the world and everyone feel like so welcome because in Brazil, even we speak like Portuguese, we are super welcome on people everywhere and we try to always welcome the people and especially in the carnival is a huge huge party when people are like so happy and partying for like seven days <laughs> and every year happening in the summer is so nice beachy in the streets some streets especially in Rio de Janeiro is a famous city in Brazil we like close the streets and people like walking around and like enjoy friends family like kids and everyone together it's super nice oh, that's awesome and um, also here we have uh, Jordan, who's uh, one of our student workers as well. How's it going, Jordan? It's good, and I, th I want to thank Daisy for uh, keeping us abreast while we're in the office because she's a nurse and she was, you know, keeping me um, on point about what to do in the, on the coronavirus and cleaning up my desk and stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, but I wanted to ask you a question, Daisy. So what did you do to celebrate International Women's Day here today or yesterday? Uh, I try to keep the culture I have in Brazil, and in Brazil we use a lot WhatsApp, a group chat we have, and I test all my friends, the women, my family, friends, everyone, to say, oh, happy Women's Day, to be strong, and I send some flowers for my friends here too, like wonders, like bows, because we do that in Brazil, we share between women, and I try to keep that here, and also I send not just from my Brazilian friends, American friends also, and they were so surprised, they were, oh, that is so nice, I say, yeah, because that is our culture in Brazil, we do that, and I want to keep the same culture. And I told my boyfriend about that, and he's American. He told me, oh, really? I said, yeah. I said, okay, let's go out, went out and enjoy dinner, and it was super nice. And he surprised me coming with a flower. I was like, oh, really? You listen to me? He's, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's super important. And I think women, more and more, we are showing our power. And like in Brazil, many positions, like high positions, are women now. And I feel like uh, that is really important. In the hospital, I used to work for five years, is run by a woman now and that is showing is like important and strong the woman can be oh i appreciate you sharing that daisy and uh thanks for being here um is there anything else you would like to add before we we head out today no she's shaking her head no 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 oh well i really appreciate you being here thank you so much for all you do in our office and uh thank you for sharing your stories with us and I hope you have a great rest of the day. You too. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.